everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Madison here, or Dandelion. Today we are somewhere different. <laughs> We're outside uh, in the backyard of my childhood home, uh, and hopefully the audio's okay. I think we'll be all right. It is windy, but I think we'll be all right. Um, but I thought it was the perfect opportunity, uh, since I'm home, in my hometown, to film my first chakra spotlight, as that's the root chakra, your first chakra. We are sitting right under the willow tree, way back in my backyard on the edge of the forest. So this willow tree is kind of holding space for us today, helping us learn about our root chakra, as trees are definitely a symbol of the root chakra. And members of my channel know, but this was voted on by my channel members. So a few times a month, I put in the community tab of my channel, a poll for all my members to vote on what video they want to see next. So my members chose Chakra Spotlights. So this will be the first of seven Chakra Spotlights. So if you want to be able to vote in those polls, become a member of my channel, hit that join button below this video to get access to all the members only perks. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the rest of these Chakra Spotlights and all the content that I put out on my channel. And like this video if you want to see more Chakra information on my channel. So like I said, today our chakra spotlight will be about your first chakra, your root chakra. So this chakra is located at the base of your spine, kind of near your tailbone. It's your lowest chakra within your body. So you do have chakras in your legs, in your feet, in your knees. You have a lot of chakras throughout your body, but we're gonna be going through in these chakra spotlights, the seven main chakras within the human body. So the first one is your root, your base chakra. And the Sanskrit name for this chakra is Muladhara chakra. And this chakra has to do with your basic needs and your survival. So this chakra has to do with feeling safe, food, water, shelter. And this chakra is connected to the element of earth. So it is your base, it's your literal roots, just like a tree. So without your root chakra, you can't grow any taller. You can't grow to your highest height without your root chakra being its healthiest and its strongest. So your root chakra also has to deal with your feeling grounded, your feeling connected to the earth and in your body. And the color of the root chakra is red. Sometimes a root chakra will be golden. This is usually because someone is a very, very old soul. So I've seen this a few times with a couple clients when I'm performing healings on clients. I'll sometimes see that their root chakra is gold or has flecks of gold in it. And that just tells me that they're a very, very old soul. But the color that the root chakra is associated with most strongly is red. So a healthy root chakra will be red. And something that you should know about chakras if you are a complete beginner to the chakra system is that a healthy chakra will spin in a clockwise direction. So a healthy root chakra will spin at a slow pace in a clockwise direction and be red. And in terms of your physical body, the root chakra is connected to your spine and your legs, your feet, your knees, and the organs in the lower part of your abdomen. So some signs of imbalance with this chakra, physical signs of imbalance, would be struggling to take care of yourself, uh, struggling with eating, so either overeating or undereating, and feeling disconnected from your body. So if you feel, uh, if you're someone who tends to dissociate a lot, um, a lot of people who have had trauma or have PTSD, CPTSD, they have trouble with their root chakra. Also knee and hip problems. So joint pain in your knees and some non-physical signs of imbalance are things like hoarding, control issues, feeling out of control or needing to be in control of everything all the time. So having trouble letting go of things, so back to the hoarding. Also paranoia and anxiety. Um, just feeling unsafe in general is a sign of an imbalance with the root chakra. Also, again, like we said, dissociation, feeling really spacey and out of your body. Also feeling greedy and feeling like you need an excess. If your basic needs aren't met, then you can start to feel kind of like you need, 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 need. So if we don't have our basic needs, then that can happen with our root chakra. Trouble meeting your day to day responsibilities. You know, again, if we don't have that strong base, then we can't do what we need to do throughout the day. We can't help ourselves. We can't help others. We can't be healthy. We can't reach our highest potential. So we have to have a strong, healthy base to grow from. So let's talk now about more of the correspondences of the root chakra and some things that you can do to help yourself if you're having an imbalance in any sort of way, whether your root chakra is overactive or underactive. 
So one thing that you can do, I always give my Reiki students uh, little phrases, verbs that they can use for that chakra. So for the root chakra, your verb is going to be I have. So if you're having trouble accessing your root chakra or you feel that your root chakra is overactive or underactive, you can start by in your mirror book or a journal, anywhere you can write things down, you can use the verb I have and fill in the blank and do it a bunch of times. This can help you get in touch with your root chakra and start to feel comfortable in that root chakra space. So I have, I have, and just keep going. And they aren't just physical things. So think about all the things that you have, physical and non-physical. All the leaves are falling, it's very distracting and pretty. <laughs> and some animals that are associated with the root chakra are bull, elephant, ox, and ants. So if you're needing to call in more earth energy into your life, you're needing more grounding, your root chakra feels a little underactive, you can start to work with the energies of any of these animals or insects to kind of bring that energy into your being and bring an awareness for yourself of that energy. And some crystals that are connected to the root chakra are ruby, garnet, hematite, and bloodstone. So if you need to balance out your chakra, whether it's overactive or underactive, you could get one of those crystals and carry it with you or place it on that chakra area. So you can place it, you can lie flat on your back and place it kind of at the base of your abdomen, as far down as you can go without being straight up in between your legs. So you can lay the crystal there or you can, as you're going through your day, keep it in your pocket or hold it in your hand or even wear it as a necklace. So let's talk about some treatments for a hypoactive root chakra. So this is an underactive root chakra. Some treatments for an underactive root chakra would be go for a walk, move your body, get into your body. So gentle exercise, walking and hiking, especially outside with the earth. So walk in the grass, put your bare feet on the ground, lay in the grass. Also self-care. So self-massage can be really good. Touch your own body, get into your body, but any kind of self-care is great. Also dance. I am a big proponent of dance can heal anything. So dance is a great way to get into that root chakra space, return into your physical body and get in touch with your connection to the earth. And again, using that mantra, I have. And then some treatments for a hyperactive root chakra. So this is a root chakra that's overworked. It's doing a little too much. So one thing is meditation. So if your root chakra is overactive, that means you have too much earth. You've got too much awareness of earth. So you're too grounded. You need to come up here a little bit more and be a little bit more water and air. So the way we'll do that is meditation. Meditation is a great way to get out of your body and more into your head space. So that's why sometimes you know, you'll hear people say meditation, meditation, meditation. Sometimes meditation isn't helpful. If you're feeling very air, if you're having a lot of overactive chakras in your head space, then meditation could make it worse. So when you have too much earth, meditation is perfect because it'll bring you more into the element of air. Also relaxation. So take a beat, relax. Again, self-care. Self-care is good for a hyperactive or hypoactive root chakra. So take a break, maybe take a bath. Self-massage again is great. Just do something enjoyable, something relaxing and calming. So that is all about the root chakra. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. I hope it helped you get an understanding of your root chakra. We'll be going through all seven of the main chakras, so stay tuned, subscribe, and like this video so you don't miss any of the rest of the chakra spotlights that will be coming soon here on my channel. And remember, you can hit that join button to become a member of my channel. I hope you enjoyed being outside here with me and the willow tree behind me. It's been so lovely getting to film a video here in this backyard. I have a very strong connection to this land from this life and past lives, so it feels really nice to be able to bring you all here with me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Blessed be.